Okay, as to the investigation at this point, as has been released, and I released myself earlier, that uh, information indicates that this plane crash was intentional. Uh, but I want to be crystal clear. The circumstances beyond that are still being investigated. Um, circumstances beyond the crash is, is who was the pilot, uh, what the circumstances were that, that led to it being intentional. Uh, all windows are open at this point. There's no clear indication as far as any motive uh, or source behind anything. This is very still early in the investigation at this point. There's a lot of work to be done on that, so we're not drawing any conclusions of any way, shape, or form uh, at this point. It does appear to be intentional, but beyond that, the investigation is continuing. Uh, the, there has been some information that was released earlier indicating that the FBI was the lead investigator in this. Uh, there's been some updates with that. It is still a joint investigation between the FBI and the NTSB uh, in cooperation with naturally the East Harford Police Department, Connecticut State Police, the FAA, and our partner agencies. Uh, again, Main Street is still closed at this point, but we anticipate being able to open it in the near future. More information in detail will be released as the investigation allows. Um, this will probably be the last press conference from this location, and uh, with the exception of um, our partners in Eversource and DEP doing some remaining cleanup once the site is clear, uh, we'll be clearing the scene as well. And further updates will be provided uh, by virtue of the investigating agencies that are participating, and we will release more details as we have them. Again, I'd like to thank everyone for their cooperation, their patience, and their understanding in this matter. And uh, at this time, I could take just a couple of quick questions. Is reporting that investigators have concluded this was a suicide. Can you comment on that? I can't comment on that at this point. As I said, the circumstances beyond uh, it being determined, it appears to be invest uh, excuse me, intentional. Uh, I can't comment on that. Have they ruled out suicide? Whether you're no, nothing's nothing's off the table at this point. I'm sorry? Can you confirm whether you're investigating some sort of argument mid-air between the student and the flight instructor? Yeah, I can't confirm those details at this time. Have you been able to terrorism? Nothing's off the table at this point, and nothing's been concluded. Can you give us an indication of what it is that leads you to uh, conclude that it was uh, intentional and not accidental? I can't provide those specific details at this time. Do you have any flight instructors who cooperating in control of the plane? I do not. You say the instructor has been cooperating. Is he the reason you know that it was intentional? Clearly, uh, being able to interview somebody who was in the aircraft, I think it goes without saying, it's pretty obvious that that's, that's very beneficial to the investigation. Can you tell us what was said before it went down? I can't release any of that at this time. Was Are there, there audio tapes of the pilot and the tower? I don't know. Do you, do you know what who was flying? Can you give us anything? I can't give you any of the uh, statements at this time. Was there a term the name before it went down the plane? Involved? I'm unaware of one, I'm not, but I can't be certain. Can you confirm the names of the Involved? Can't release any names at this time. Do you have further indication who was at the controls? No. Can you give us a bottom line here? Can't answer that either. Is this, right. is this terrorism? Again, the circumstances beyond the crash, the specifics to it, we can't address at this time. Uh, it's just in the interest of protecting the integrity of the investigation. That's All right. right. Uh, we haven't.